guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 23 chat. Oh, hi. Hello, everybody. Give mom a round of, apl of applause for me? filling in this weekend on me? the spoilers. Oh, thank you. You were you. wonderful. Oh, stop. For real. Stop. I really appreciate it. I know, I know you, you guys enjoyed it. I saw your comments, and I'm very happy that you had a great time with mom. I think you were all lying. But They're whatever. like, don't bring the other one back. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. Anyway, last time. Thank you for accepting me. Yes, last time, Frenchie was evicted, and we've got a new HOH. Whoa, Xavier. It's Xavier. Woo! Because Derek X and uh, Hannah. Threw and a bunch of people threw the competition. A lot of people threw it. It was important that Derek X and Hannah threw it, though, because they are on team aces and they did mm -hmm. not want brent or whitney to be safe for the week no they need them to be available to be nominated yes. for eviction mm -hmm. so Brittany thinks she's safe uh she's like with Whoa! Xavier. i made it off the block and now i'm gonna relax i'm gonna work on some more raps there's no way they're gonna put me on the block again i was just on the block life is good <laughs> brent also feels safe because Brett is like, oh, I'm, I'm good on this. I'm in the slaughterhouse with Xavier. Plus, we have the uh, the alliance between the aces and the kings. It's called the radicals. The slaughterhouse is dead. It's the dead. Slaughterhouse oh, that's the cider house. <laughs> slaughterhouse rules. <laughs> One. We know that's not true. All right, so there's a new alliance in town because slaughterhouse is dead. A new mega alliance. It's called Royal Flush. Oh, I kept calling it Royal Family because they I thought that that was the name they picked, but I guess they're going with Royal Flush now. It's the Kings and the Queens plus Derek Plus X. one ace. Right, so Kai, Xavier, Sarah Beth, Alyssa, Tiffany, Christian, Claire, and Derek X, of course. Mm -hmm. That's a big alliance. It's a pretty good group. Um... I'd be a little bit worried if I were in that group and I wasn't a member of the King's Alliance because they mm -hmm. have the majority in that group. I, mean, that's, yeah. I think that's something that's going to become an issue at some point. Also, no more eight-person alliances. Even though I like a lot of the people in this alliance, no. No. Not eight people. Well, we find out uh, the beginning of what's wrong with Brent. <laughs> he can't be friends with a woman. I'm that sorry. He's not shopping. First of all, or did lights. he watch When Harry Met Sally, like, on a loop in Sequester? He's not Billy Crystal. No! There's only one! Well, Hannah... But he, he's had this conversation so many times with so many people. It's yeah. like, why are you still saying this bullshit? Hannah is sick of him and his ego BS. A lot of them are sick of him. He's like in the... He, he's the president of the He-Man Woman Haters Club. Like, it's not... A woman is not worthy of being friends with him unless he wants to sleep with her. Like, that's so yeah. disgusting. I know. It's so gross. Brent misread Alyssa's lips. Because, of course, he was trying to listen in while Christian and Alyssa were, like, flirting with each other. And she was talking about how, in real life, guys that, like, she goes out on dates with, they're not just trying to, like, hook up with her. Like, they want to actually date her. She said, I'm dating material. <laughs> All right, well, Whitney is sick of Brent. Well, wait, but Brent <laughs> yeah. took that to He thought that she said, oh, um, all the people that want to work with me want to get with me. So then he was like, oh, I got to let you know, like, I'm not just trying to work with you because I want to date you. But he does want to date her. Oh, yeah, he's super jealous of Alyssa and Christian. <gasps> for sure. <sighs> for sure. I, if I were her, I would be like, well, um, I don't date any guys that I work with. Oh. <laughs> so Whitney is also sick of Brent. Oh, yeah. She had a huge turnaround because everybody's been pairing Whitney and Brent together. Mm -hmm. And ever since she saw that sip was... That sip. That, sip that ship was sinking. It's been a long weekend. Yes. Um, she's I'm not even here. alive anymore. Yeah. She's like, I'm not... I'm not doing this. I got to throw this dude under the bus hard. And she has yeah. been. I still can't believe he never had a platonic friend who is a girl. I mean, it shows. <laughs> it really shows with the way that he talks about women. It's really sad. Um, but yeah, I feel like with this segment, Big Brother was just like, all right, we're done with Brent. We're tossing him in the garbage. 
Okay. We're not going to try and hide this anymore. So the targets for this week preliminarily are Whitney and Bryn. Yeah, I mean, that's who people were talking about last week. Mm -hmm. Xavier still wants to see how things are going to shake out, but that is his initial thought as well. Well, Derek F. from The Couch says, the I want to see, I wanna see some couples. Yeah. Let's let's uh, put some asses in the beds. I think, you know, for his own entertainment, but also because he wants to get targets on people's backs. Of course. And you know, if somebody's in a showmance, people are going to be like, uh-oh, that's a duo. That's a voting block. Got to get rid of them. Yeah. I'm not going to look at the guy who won't get out of the bed or the couch um, before I get rid of the couple. So. Mm -hmm. His couples are Hannah and Derek X. This is one of the showmances that I would be okay with this season. This is like a cerebral showmance. They're actually cute. Yeah. They are very cute. There's something special about them. I like them. Mm -hmm. I'd ship that. Yeah. Dana. Oh, or, is that what you'd go with? I'd go with Dana or Herrix. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, of course... Alyssa and Christian are definitely a showmance. Every boy has a crush on Alyssa. Yeah, I mean, Christian, Brent, Xavier, they're all crushing hardcore. But Christian... He's the winner! Yeah. Um, he wins! They're definitely a showmance. And I'm kind of, like, over it already because they're, like, the traditional... Big Brother showmance that we see, like, every season. Like, wow, two hot people. <laughs> they kind of remind me of Shelly and Clay. Really? I don't get that vibe. No? No. Hmm. Who do you, who do you, um, feel like they are? Well, I get a lot of Victor vibes from Christian. Mm, yes, Vic, definitely Victor vibes. But, but no Alyssa's Nicole not there. a Nicole. No. Even though they those two were not a showman's when they were actually on no, the show. No, they weren't. But they yeah, weren't. I don't know. I don't know. A Tangela vibe? Eh, I don't know. It's hard to say. At least Tangela could wait a little bit. We're on week three, and these these two are already making out everywhere. We'll get there <laughs> in Pause. another episode, in a future episode. But anyway, all right. <laughs> so Derek X and Hannah were talking about how they threw the HOH competition. Yeah, I love their their yeah. reactions to it. That was so fun. Peace out. Mm-hmm. So, uh, they don't want Brent to be safe. They had to In do any this. way, shape, or form. Yeah, and they felt like they could trust everyone, because all last week, everybody was saying, like, we need Brent out. We need to get Brent out. We need to get Brent out. So, yeah. they felt good about the move, and it looks like it's paying off, right? Well, they don't want to just... Uh, take care of the HOH situation they want to go further and secure the wild card situation so Derek X is going to step up and he's going to play the wild card for his team right because their team only has two options it's either him or Whitney playing right and they don't want to leave it in Whitney's hands because if it is a situation where... She also might be a potential nominee. True. But if it is a situation like week one where multiple multiple people from their team could be safe... Yeah. They don't want to risk Whitney being like, Yup, <laughs> we're all safe. <clears throat> no. Yeah. So right. Derek X really wants to step up and play. But he wants to throw it. He doesn't want to right. win it. Yeah, he wants to throw it. All right, so the wild card competition players it's are here. Derek X. Yep, from Team Aces. We got Tiffany from Team Queens, and we got me, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> from I Team Joker. I want to be safe. Yeah, I mean, she wants to play in this competition because she had such a rough time on the block last week. Mm -hmm. She wants to ensure her safety. And I'm sure Derek F. and Ozzy were like, yeah, go for it. Because they're in the cookout with Xavier. So, like, they should be safe this week. They're not worried about right. that. So they're like, yeah, you go for it. All right. Well, Tiffany and Derek X, behind the scenes, uh, they're deciding that Brittany can't win. They need to keep her as an option to go up on the block. Not because they want her out. Right. But because as a pawn. they want her to possibly be used as a pawn. Right. So Derek X says, I don't want to win this. I think it would be better. Blah. It'd be better if you win it, Tiffany. So I'm gonna throw it to you. Yeah, nobody's looking at the Queens right now anyway. So right. 
So it's time to go to Backstab Beach. Oh, whoa! The name of the comp is Unlucky 13. It's always been lucky for me. <laughs> All right, so they have these wonky-ass balance beams that look like they are some real nut crushers. It's not some Olympic balance beam. <laughs> this it's, is not Olympic regulations. No. These are... Uh, they look very scary. I think I would probably crack my head on one of these. Because it was, like, really windy, but also it rocked back and forth. Right. So there were a few different elements to worry about. I think that this competition was super fun. Yeah, it was interesting. It was something a little different. It was multi-layered. You didn't only have to worry about uh, taking care of your own well, win. Well, let's explain it. Okay. So each person had a stack of cards. Right. And, and you they had have, to take them in order. Right. Playing you have cards. Four slots on the end of your balance beam. Mm -hmm. You had to take um, a card mm -hmm. one at a time, go across your balance beam with it, and place it on one of the stands. And it could be one of your competitors or it could be one of yours. Yours. Um, so the idea is to eliminate someone, you want the cards on the stand to add up to 13. And so there were four it's cards a knockout on the stand. Comp. Yeah. So the last one standing right. wins the wild card competition. When you get 13, you out. Mm -hmm. So they want to get rid of Brittany first. And I it mean, was, it was hard to hide it in this kind it of competition. It was very obvious that they were both going to eliminate. Brittany. I felt bad for Brittany because I don't know that she understood I why this was happening did. at the time. I don't think she, I still don't think she does. I, she's taking it very personally. Yes. She is. So they did end up knocking her out. Yeah. Brittany had the opportunity to knock Derek X out, but she, she beefed she it. Beefed she it. freaking, she, she couldn't freaked, do the math. She freaked out with the math because you have a card and you have to replace one of them and I guess it was just too much for her to like because things were happening quickly. Yeah. So she couldn't do the math quickly. And you know what? The kids today, they really don't do math in their head very well. They really that's need calculators. A, that's a generalization. Not you. <laughs> Everyone else. I guess. I don't She's know. She's very good at math. I think there are still a lot of other people that are. I too. still, I would have, I would find it difficult to do without a calculator, even if it was simple math. Mm. All right, so. Yeah, Brittany was eliminated. She's gone. She's yeah. gone and she's on the side like, why'd they do this to me? Mm, I felt bad for her. I and felt very bad for her. Derek X already had more cards on his stand because Brittany was focusing on him. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty easy for Tiffany to. Just eliminate Derek out. X and secure that win. All right, so we find out that the prize is that Tiffany could accept safety for two other players, one on each of the other They were going to play a teams. game of chance to determine uh, who was going to be safe from the Aces and from the Jokers. There would be one from each team who would also be safe. Well, she had to turn it down because she just could not take the chance that Brent would possibly be safe. Yeah. Right? That, that, would, that would really mess things up. That would have uh, defeated the whole purpose of the competition. Mm hmm So Brittany is very upset. Uh, why didn't they use it on me? I could have been, I, po I possibly could have been yeah, safe. Yeah, like first you freaking dog me in the competition. And then you blow it And then you don't me. let me have safety, like a, a chance at safety. So she was pretty upset. Um, you think Big Brother was upset that another wild card was turned down? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, because then they had to find more stuff to fill the, uh, you know. I thought this episode was solid, though. They had a lot of good stuff in there. It was definitely way more interesting than the average Sunday yeah. uh, fluff it episode. It didn't feel like it had a lot of unnecessary content. I agree. Yeah, so I was into that. All right, so but, Xavier well, Xavier. I was just going to say, what? Aza and Derek F. were also very upset. For Brittany. That Joker's team, they're all looking out for each other. The Joker's team operate near or on the couch, the big blue couch. And Yeah, they're always in that back bedroom. They're always, always, <laughs> always there. You got uh 
Derek F on the couch. Mm-hmm. You got Aza on that first bed. On right? the first bed. And you got Brittany walking around like this the whole time. Oh. I'm going to win HOH. I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to be safe and I'm screw everybody. Yeah. Well, after um, after the wild card competition, it was mm-hmm. time for Xavier to do his one on ones with everybody. Right. And he's trying to, he knows he's going to put Brent up on the block. He's right. not even going to bother trying to backdoor him. No. But he needs to figure out who's going to be going up as the pawn next to Brent. Mm-hmm. So at first it seemed like he was going to put up... Whitney. Whitney. Mm-hmm. But then after he talked to Brent, he came up with a new idea. Because Brent was throwing all these people... Well, he's throwing all the jokers under the bus. Yeah. His reasoning was, Brittany, uh, there's the narrative that she started the Girls' Alliance, French Kisses, which is not true. She was not even there. And Brent knows that it's probably BS, but he was going along with it anyway. Yeah. There was his whole drama with Aza about the floaters... Uh, Coaster's conversation where he was like, oh, she got so upset and, like, snapped at me, which, according to other people's uh, retellings of the conversation, that is not true. She was very calm. And he was saying Derek F. has now voted against the majority twice. So he's a liability. We can't trust him with his vote. So he's just targeting all the jokers. And Xavier was like, all right, if Brent is thinking that Brittany is this huge target that everybody needs to go after... I should just put her up on the block next to him and make him think Mm -hmm. that she's the target. Right. And not him. I think he was also going to frame it like he wanted Brent up on the block to win the veto so that Brittany Mm -hmm. wouldn't. Right. You know, he even told Brittany about this plan. Mm Mm-hmm. And she's still really upset and she just does not get it. Yeah. You know what? Frenchie really screwed a lot like of people Frenchie over. I feel like Frenchie screwed his team over for sure. They are all... They're all mentally scarred from you, Frenchie! Yeah. Well, okay. Then it was Ozza's turn to talk to mm-hmm. Xavier. And she is not happy with this plan, with no. Brittany going up as the pawn. Because she does not want to deal with... Well, they're also super close. She saw yeah. what Brittany went through last week. She doesn't want to see her go through that again. Mm-hmm. And she is... An awesome, amazing friend. But not also, a very good BB player. This though. is Big Brother, you know. This is not Big Friend. It's not. This is not RuPaul's it's, best friend race. No, it's not. So Aza says, "All right, if you're planning on putting Brittany up, put Don't. me up instead." Put me, yeah, put me up. Put me on. Put me in, coach. Uh oh. And Xavier's, Xavier's like, like, "No, <laughs> like you're in the cookout. I'm not putting you up on the block. I'm not doing this." But Z- Xavier's whole narrative is that he wants to get the cookout to the jury. Oh, yeah, intact. of course. So there's no way that Aza is going to be touching the block. But Aza is insisting, like, put me up on the block. Mm-hmm. She's saying, like, I don't even care if I go. I'll just go back to my normal life. Uh, yeah, but what? that's not what Xavier wants. No. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame her, like... For wanting to go, like, to try, but that's not what everybody else wants. Well, I think also... They're trying to do something spectacular, even if the other people that they're, you're planning on including don't agree. I think Xavier is pretty set on putting up Brittany because this plan well, is the it most also likely would to fit work. to his narrative. Yeah, to convince Brent that he's not the target so he doesn't freak out up on the block all week. Yeah, but you would think that if he did freak out on the block, he would be assured 100% of going home. Not necessarily. I mean, sometimes it has the the reverse effect, too, where, like, people think this person is so unstable, I'm just going to keep them around and get rid of this other person. As a meat shield? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, How unstable is Brittany this last week? (laughs) (laughs) I think Aza and Brittany are both great people, but mm-hmm. I think they're really not helping their own games out this week from what I've seen so far. Was your favorite moment of the uh, weekend when Brent said, I'm not pawn material on his one in one Which time? Because he said it a million times. I don't, I'm the target 100%. I don't know why I'm up on the block, though, because, like... Yeah, so Xavier gave him it. the heads up. That he might be going up on the block, but mm-hmm. he tried to frame it like, you're the pawn, you're not my target. 
And Brent was basically like, well, if I go up on the block, like, our relationship may not be the same after. <laughs> <laughs> he changed his tune a little bit later on where he was like, well... I said this would be war. <laughs> maybe this could work out, you know? We, we had something good going. Maybe we could still have it. Mm. We need a lot of therapy, though. We need a lot of couples therapy for it. All right, so um, it's time for the noms. Okay. And sure enough, Brent goes up on the block, and Brittany goes up on the block. Brr. The reason for Brent was... Uh, trust, he was trying to frame it like... Trust You're worth? trustworthy. Oh, okay. <laughs> you are a strong competitor. I'm half asleep. Yeah, it's okay. You're a strong competitor fighting for that veto, and he tried to make it sound like Brittany is his target this week. And he's like, mm-hmm. you can go after me if you want HOH, blah, blah, blah. And Brittany is crying at the ceremony. Oh, My parents said I must go to I the ceremony. I feel bad for her, but, like, at the same time, again, they you are up against you. the house target, just yes. like last week. Yes. The worst person in the house that everybody wants gone. Can't you see, can't you read the room? I mean, read I'm the room. sure it feels different actually being in the game and not seeing the show or seeing everybody, you know, hearing everybody's conversations. But still, like judging from what she has to say, though, it doesn't feel like she gets the show because it's like, well, I've been up on the block already. I'm done. I'm not going on the block again. She's asking for like three weeks of safety. No. Which we, they didn't show it on the show yet, but... <laughs> I, I get that she gets it's like a game, but I just don't think she understands the impact of the game. Like, she's here to play a game. But, like, other people... And win. But, mm-hmm. like, other people are here because, like, this is a game for money that's, like, they cut a bitch for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, she's young, so she might be a little naive in that way. She might be a lot naive. All right, so Brittany's all fired up, as usual. I'm going to win that POV. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to win the POV. Next week, I'm going to win the HOH, and then I'm going to go after everyone in the game. Yeah. And Brent's all like, I think he made a big mistake with the <laughs> F. <laughs> he thinks he has the votes to stay, though. So he's continuing with his He-Man woman haters, arrogant, you know, like... Yeah, I might be the target, but everybody's on my side. I don't understand how he thinks... <laughs> There's a disconnect there. He's the target. Maybe he just thinks he's, like, Xavier's target, but, like, that Xavier wouldn't have the numbers to pull it off. Mm, that's the only thing I could think, yeah, but... I, I guess, but, like, you didn't get to be the target and not be, you know, you're not liked... Let's put it like this. Are we just really tired or is this insane? Because I feel like it's insane. It is insane. All right. (laughs) No question. Well, anyway, that was the episode. Wednesday night, we'll get to see what happens with the power of veto. Or if you guys don't want to wait, you can check out our daily spoiler videos, our live streams. They're a lot of fun. Your stream is going to be a little bit early tomorrow. Yes. Because guess what, guys? We're being interviewed live on Chef AJ's channel on YouTube mm-hmm. for our cookbook. Yeah, so, so we got we to gotta get this done before that. If you want to check that out after tomorrow's stream. We'd love to have you there. We'd love to have you there. You can Continue the party. Yes. And we'll be doing a live cooking demo. So yes. that's fun. So we'll leave a link uh, after tomorrow on tomorrow's spoiler yeah. so that if you want to join the party... You can come over and do that after mm-hmm. the regular stream. So yeah. we hope you join us. And that's that's it. That is it. <laughs> All right, We're guys. Done. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, and until next time, much, much love. love.